those of you just joining us, I'm Caleb Weiss here with Brooke Porcelli for today's live coverage of ULA's Atlas V launch of Amazon's Project Hyper Satellites. Four, three, we have ignition, two, one. Ignition and full thrust. Five good SRV. And liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket. Carrying satellites for Amazon's Project Hyper and Internet Constellation. Marking the start of a new chapter in low Earth orbit satellite connection. You is now on close with control. Vulcan has a conical nose cone, whereas Atlas has a duck bill or O-drive shape. We're coming up here on our next mission event, jettison of the payload bearing. Let's listen in to Sarah. He needs to move down the center of the range track and is moving at 5,300 miles an hour. Body rates continue to operate normally. And we are now holding acceleration at 2.5 Gs in preparation for payload bearing jettison. And we have activated the Centaur Reaction Control System. And we have passed the Carmen line. We have exited Earth's atmosphere. Vehicle is now one-fourth of its liftoff weight. And we have good indication of payload bearing jettison. And good indication of CFLR deck jettison. Engine continues to operate as expected. Light commentator Sarah Bailey Glasgow just called out confirmation of the payload fairing jettison. The composite fairing protects the spacecraft as it pushes through the harshest parts of the atmosphere. Next, we'll hear call outs for cutoff of the Atlas first stage engine and separation of the booster stage, followed by ignition of ULA Centaur's second stage. These events occur when the first stage has escaped Earth's atmosphere, getting above the Kármán line and into space. The Centaur upper stage, with the Kuiper satellites attached, then takes over on a trajectory to a precise location in space. Let's just listen in as we approach these milestones. Body rates are smooth. Hydraulics continue to look good. 30 seconds to eco. There's space chill down in progress. Temperatures are operating as expected. You respond to open loop control as expected. Engine continues to operate normally. And we've completed boost phase chill down as expected. And we have good indication of booster engine cutoff. And we have good indication of Centaur separation. Restart on fuel and locks, good staging. Ignition and full thrust. Arlton is running nominally. 
steering has been enabled as expected. Engines are continuing to operate as expected. This is Atlas Mission Control at T plus five minutes. We just heard flight commentator Sarah Bailey Glasgow confirm the successful completion of today's early milestones in today's flight. 